Hello, hello. Welcome to yet another episode. Now, right before this episode, I did something that gave a huge boost in morale. So, this is what we are after. Right? This is what we have. Look at it! It's so great! Need life lot. Can clearly see how to structure it. So next time I start a Factoria playthrough. Oh! Factoria 2.0 is launching today! Ha! <laughs> great timing! The, the Space Seal is here as well. Will I launch today? So the next time I play Factorio, which will be very soon, as soon as I get back home uh, to my internet, then I'll take a look at this when making red flasks. Because I want to make it so that we can uh, have a future expansion for green flasks. And it's rather easy. As after all, red flasks means that I combine iron. I turned out the iron gears and combined it with the copper. So then I just put all those two off there. So then what I want to make sure of is that I also make copper wires that we will go into the inserter for circuit boards. I can just have that. I guess. Just output to chest until uh, red flask. Until we've done a bunch of research in red flasks. Then we can expand it further to have a transport belts and search your automatic. And then green flasks. In truth, there. It's not these two which are outputs, it's these four. Because it's very, very nice to have these just go automatically into a chest. Uh oh. Dang it. Yeah, stuff definitely messed up here. <sighs> I deleted a wire. So now this one is miscolored, and this one is miscolored, and this one is miscolored. The rest is fine. Curious. So did it just mess up everything before I made before I made that wire connection? Yeah, same so. Well, at this point, this one is wrong. Now this one became wrong. This became wrong. And now this one is wrong. Now this one is wrong. Now this one is wrong, and I have to restart. Very unfortunate. I really want to fix that bug, but I tried a lot the last episode, and could not. So today, ignoring that, let's see, what will we do today? Option 1 is block removal. Slash soon. Option two is association packs. Option three is icons. Option 4 is Wire Preview. Actually, let me just check my disk space. I have 67.5 GB of free space. And then, if I go into my last videos, a video on 3 hours takes 33. 
So you have each 6 hours maximum. So it's probably fine to add in wire preview. <laughs> if you only have the 2 hours left of uh, disk space, this would not be there, as I would not be able to fix it in that time. Wires is the worst. And then up with block removal slash steam. Alright then. Let's try something very very simple for Sim first. I guess Zoom is both a... I do Zoom... No, I can do it. Uh, I, I do do it as a float, but we can just uh, divide it later. It will be both a setting and we will have two keybinds. Zoom in, zoom out. So this dot zoom is a new setting. We call it zoom. Yeah, just zoom. Uh, then we have hundred percent as usual. Step I guess can be right first int. Then I go down near minimum. I have as ten. Maximum, I'll have us 500. Step, I'll have us 10. So now I have the same setting. Um, <laughs> similar to change size. We'll have a function here. Uh, Change zoom and this. I really hope this will be work. But if we then do scale. Scale will be settings dot settings dot zoom dot value so you need to put that in parentheses and then do parse int you take that value divided by Hundred. So hundred divided by hundred should be one. Mm -hmm. If it's ninety, ninety divided by hundred should be zero point nine, which would then work. Yeah. Then before we test whether that works or not, let's add in keybinds for it. It makes sense to have it close to moving. This dot zoom in is a new key bind zoom in. 
Qt dot t plus Let's just copy this over again. And then zoom out the wiki minus. Zoom out Oh it is won't be as Simple as I first thought. Hmm. Let's say I want border to react on that. So let's just take two random of the ones of these. This is an error. Zoom in. Zoom out. And I want on. Oh no, it will be rather simple. I believe. All right, let's. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Now I'm just saying the same over and over again. Because... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it will be very, very simple. It will just uh, be this uh, scroll function. And well, we also have to find the select place with all of the functions. Yeah, this will then scroll. Zoom in the direction plus one, this in the direction minus one. Actually, zoom in will be mine. Let's just try it out. If it's inverse, then we fix it. Yeah, then I think we just have one more place to fix. Fix this up. Let's see, here is board. Here is board. Change zoom. Now we have to find the like settings place where all of the settings are showing up. Showing up here, yeah, right there. The apply function. It's below minus red. Case zoom. Forward. Dot change zoom. Break. And 
Let's see. Did that work? Cannot read properly. Right, but that first is that you cannot call method. Next up, of an find. Because. Mm -mm. Interesting. Do other key points work? Yeah. The escape. Zoom. 200. Looks the same to me. 500. Let's have a look at this. Cannot read property index of of undefined. So setting has no value. Yeah, this part does not work. Cycle back, cycle forward. Okay, let's restart it, trying not to date the key binds of these. Cycle back, cycle forward. What about text input dot cycle back, cycle forward? Now this works again. The refreshing is but annoying. Thirty percent. Does it look like thirty percent? No. What if I try to plus minus? console.log name setting setting dot name zoom object upload zoom zoom object upload zoom uh, setting dot Value. Hundred. Can ask for method index of of and vine, and I changed to cannot. Hmm. Change from cannot call to cannot read again.
is scrolling just for strings. Yeah. There it is. That's why it's breaking. Okay, what I want to do then? Let's get rid of the old drop down system. String scroll. That's what I'll uh, rename this one to. And then string scroll. These work. These work. Then what I want to do. Hmm. Apply. Let's see, this is less annoying if I get rid of those two. Yes. Oh, but it wasn't tracked on. It only is this. Like now I'm spam clicking. It only does one step. How about we put that as a part of apply? So now you can despair. You can despair. You can despair. You can disappear. You can disappear. You can disappear. Okay, and then let's make a new function in here. Hold int scroll. Name direction. On the inside there. Well, let me just take both of these so you can see the difference on the inside. Okay. 
Yeah. Can we get rid of the extra dimension inside of her? Yeah, so it's whether it's plus or minus step. Okay, so calc will be that. Okay, so then let's do calc plus equals model step. Times direction. So now that part is no longer needed. Now let's look at the difference here. Quite simple. This one will raise this one. So now we will set setting model load name to and then I check, is calculation lower than model.min? If so, make it max. If not, then check, is it greater than max? If so, make it minimum. If not, make it calc. Uh, which is the value. And then you plus on a step with the direction. So there, now that should stuff should work. This whole part can be deleted. So this will instead say settings dot settings dot int scroll model dot name uh, minus one and then this one the same but in the direction plus one scrape Model not defined. Hmm. Hmm. Right. The their model is setting. So what we'll do is make setting there, and we'll replace model with setting. Set of undefined. This not set. Why is not fine? True. So 
So here we'll actually also have to do like Now stroke size is moving by one. If I make it smaller than one, it turns to a hundred. These ones hold it at their own step angle. Very nice. Det är inte längre scroll, det är inte längre någonting. Vi har inte det än. Int scroll. Int scroll. And then... Apply. That's it. Plus, minus, why not the line? Makes sense. It's in the component tag. Let's move it to be uh, Let's move it to be on the roots. Is it above or below this? Neither. Now it should be defined in every scope. Model not divine, that makes sense. Let's see. See what's wrong, I'm just wondering what I want to do about it. I got so good to loop through. Is that the best way to go about it? Could you like apply name? Then name. I guess that's a decent way of doing it.
it doesn't matter so much out there because that's will just mean apply a zoom apply zoom and down here it really won't matter at all because here we'll just put the model.name Another changes. And here we have more populates that are unnecessary. Oh, just one. Oh, and that one needs to change. That's an end. Copy this. Uh, backwards with the left. Oh, well, I guess this one then just goes executes afterwards. And then this one is the same, but plus one. <laughs> Calling it intral and doing plus one plus minus one seems like we're always scrolling by just one. And in truth, we're doing plus one or minus one times step size. I think maybe now it should work then. Oh, yeah. I'm pressing minus to zoom in and plus to zoom out. Now I'm holding down plus. Now I'm holding down minus. It's fancy. And I do plus. Supply marks. I just want to change the keybind. Zoom in is plus one, zoom out is minus one. Mm. It is really unnecessary to go as far in as 500, just 300%. But the minimum can be five, and so the step should also be five. Let's run with that. Ah, all zooming in. Then you end up this far out. Now we'll just hold down, zoom out. Now we'll hold down, zoom in. Just double check. This one is big no matter what. Yeah, all of these do size differently. Copper, iron. 
wire circuit board. So suppose that is just let's see. We will zoom in. I need to make it so that you can move even when you're hovering over one of these. See, something that requires circuit board. Inserter. Yeah, let's just zoom out a bit. Ha, ha, ha. So yeah, if you have a very, very big project, you can't see it from far away like this. And then you can zoom in on any interesting bit. Oh, zoom out. Ah, <laughs> and this one I didn't. Oh, well, it's because my mouse got caught in the trap again. <laughs> oh, mouse trap. I should find a way to remove mouse traps. But before that, we have now completed a goal that I added today. Before this, I changed the to-do list, adding in Zoom. Because I thought it would be useful. And that it does seem like it is. Hmm. I do sort of want to make scroll up part of what he's as well. <laughs> if we have to add in that, look, it is on the part of what I'm doing now. I guess I will look into block removal next. Well, let's maybe just double check of the code we made for it. And we want to remove a block. Well, and we're on node space. We need to remove, remove our node. But. When we are on all space, all we do is by remove all. So to delete a block, I will add a new function. <laughs> Error. Nuke. Function nuke. Is it going to be so simple? Of course it won't be, but destroy 
this. Oh, delete this. <laughs> Function nuke delete this. Looks very, very ominous. And no, it won't be so simple, but imagine if it was. Remove. Remove, remove, remove. Console.log nuking. I don't. Yeah, it's trying to nuke, but the thing is very, <laughs> very much still existent. Please stop the. Hmm, hold on now. Component dot destroy on destruction. Emit it as the object begins destruction. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just Google if there's a simple way. Wait, there, the, there is a very obvious uh, thing. Destroy. <laughs> Copper. Let's try again. Ah, uh, it's unavailable thanks to this. Copper. Selling associations. But it does seem like it has been fully destroyed. Now let's just make sure. Destroy. On there, we'll just destroy that part. Destroy on there. Gets rid of the wire. Gets rid of the wire in the list. And gets rid of itself. Beautiful. Iron. Let's just see. This is also. Also gets rid of all connections made to it. And this works on blocks as well. This gets rid of those two. Yep. And there's the dynamic. This gets rid of those two. Yep. And this gets rid of all the wires. Ah, the object. That was simple. That was amazing. You can also simplify it a bit. 
No, we need to do that part. React base dot destroy. Simple. Ho! Oh. I should have done that ages ago. Uh, okay, this this next part I'm not excited about at all. Wire moving. Uh, so let's have a look at the scroll. If you take a look at key area, yes, essentially I want. I really just want key area to have uh, the scrolling capability. Wheel. Uh, the signal is emitted in response to the mouse wheel and trackpad scroll gestures. Corresponding handler is on wheel. Let's just try it by itself. On on wheel, then event put into here. So here we have a wheel event object. Buttons was the mouse buttons pressed when the wheel event was generated. And the well, let's see. console dot log. Uh, and let's see, in here, accepted, uh, yeah, event dot accepted, accepted, why did I say it weird, accepted, I want angle delta then angle yeah. event dot angle delta Buttons, event dot buttons, modifiers, event dot modifiers. Pixel. Delta event dot pixel delta x x y y
accepted equals three. So scrolling down, scrolling up. If I do this, still one hundred and twenty. If I were to hold down right click while scrolling, I see the buttons say as well. Uh, let's see. Am I being very smart with that or am I being very dumb with that? None. I was very dumb with that. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's on screen. This holds the relative property amount that the reel was rotated in eighths of a degree. The x and y coordinates of this property hold the delta in horizontal and vertical orientations, respectively. A positive value indicates that the wheel was rotated upright, negative indicates down left. Most now types work in steps of 15 degrees, in which case the delta value is a multiple of 120. So point. But so if I then do, I take the one of the point, and make it times one eight. Okay, let's see where the nan appears. And the point. Note that any Q point or Q point F value passed into QML from C is converted into a point value. Right. So dot y. There we go. And divided by hundred and twenty. Positive one, minus one. So, uh, let's also make a property to disable scroll false. Take 
get that. Get rid of all of this. All of this too. If if not disable scroll. Then React Event Was it did have the dot mel buttons function? Then here we take event dot angle data. Why, why, why? <laughs> Let's just hold on. Compress, okay, mouse area. Mm, press buttons, mouse buttons. Accepted buttons. Where do I get the event? Event, event, event. Ah, down there. Clicked mouse event. Also called buttons. Perfect. Now let's just see. Here. Does the fact that I'm passing through that extra argument be strange thing? No. Mouse event on board, key, and define. That's fine, because everything else still works. And suppose I want to use the scroll. Uh, then what I would do Say that this React on board will take event and scroll. I don't want to be able to bind the scroll as well. So in other words, I should find a way to get it into the standard system. React event. Okay, what if I make event and dot key. Equals mm, minus two plus this. Q 
event on board minus one and minus three let's actually do mouse then and she goes and find that All that is like hard to read is the fact that it says key event here minus one minus three. But in the program, it will be fine because ha oh, 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 phew. If this was Python, Python, this would not have worked because in Python, or I guess I. Should explain this first. You see, it's a part of mouse. This. Dot. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, here we will have scroll. Down. And find scroll up. Starting on minus three. Now this error should work because in JavaScript. Oh, I guess we'll have to look at the functions and enumerate. Let me explain this. In JavaScript, we take a minus value inside of square brackets. It will find that we it, it will make a minus that position. But in Python, it does something else. Say that you have the numbers one, two, three, four, and five in a list. If you do one. Then it will output 2, like if you would put a 1 inside of here. But if you do minus 1, it will output 4. It will start going from the backwards side in Python. But in JavaScript, it's different. So since this is JavaScript, this should work. Uh, let's see, keybinds. Scroll down, scroll up. Ha ha ha. So I do a scroll down, scroll up there. Oh, so nice. Now. I guess hmm. Yeah, now plus and minus doesn't work. Okay, so you're going to say that maybe I could uh, since I've already finished my two primary objectives of the video. I could potentially make it so that associations that you can buy, or I mean uh, sorry, keybinds, that you can buy two things there. Uh, but I think we'll not. So that direction is in. So that is correct. So scroll up is in, scroll down is out. Scroll up is in, scroll down is right. So this shall be hmm. 
Das rum. S minus 3. Of course, I managed to do it opposite. 1, 3. Down. This is scroll up. That's uh, copper. How far can I scroll in now? <laughs> Will there ever be a need to look at things this closely? I guess if you have a very, very long list. Oh, hmm, curious. Uh, well. Fire will take a lot of copper. Like a lot, lot of copper. Now, if we just zoom in. I can no longer scroll through this list. But actually, I'm not sure if this will work. What do you the function? Disable scroll. Disable scroll through. Oh, whoops. In here, disable scroll through. And copper and iron. It no longer logs the scrolling, but it still stops it stops it from piercing through. Hmm. How do I make it so that the disabled scroll will actually make it so that the scroll pierces through?
because I need the sibling scroll there. It does make it so that it's no longer logs. So it don't even get to the React. If, if, okay, else. So if the table scroll event dot accepted is false. Same. Yes. Nice. And why am I even trying to online it? It would look better this way, probably. That's pretty well. So we do that. Then that. Then that. Then that. Then that, then that. Let's make some fancy spaces in here. I don't know, I think it makes it looks just that tiny bit better. And I'm doing single line. So there. Now even the stable mouse should work. So just to make sure that things still work. To iron and gear. Can't scroll there. And let's see. And I suppose that for some reason on board. 
I do not want left click and right click to count. Then I can just do stable mouse through. And now it no longer reacts. It'll still react to scrolling because I wanted it to be that way. Can I make it? Mm. Hold on, hold on. Let's make our function in there. Function log. The function takes event. You can now just do log event. Oh, oh, oh. So then here we want if and dot key if event dot key I want to check is event dot key greater than zero if so key else scroll and then I want to copy this to all of the other places where I use that thing so let's find the uppermost case and just go all the way down where's the first place where I use key binds Oh, right there. Uh, where? Where's the next one? Here. Nothing here. Here. I want to look for this. That will then tell me every place where I will uh, instead use log event. It works in every single place where I made a key event key area. Here. Here. And then here. Now let's just test the newest feature. Scroll event. Yes. Mouse event, key event, scroll event. Oh ho ho! Mm. 
And now that the mouse thing works. Oh, but that's not why I did this. Hmm. No, that's it. Yeah, here. That's the key area. Oh, we have our key area in here. Uh, how I fixed it was to just put it before the text input. Mm. Let's see if anything binded with this move left. So if you change your move left right keybind, that will work. Or if minus one. Or is it better to Wait, uh, how does my check function work again? Check event's name, search for name, that won't work. Mm, so let's expand on check. Check will now take event's name and key. If name say let's say if name is undefined and the find I want Let's keybind that should then be key. Else Why did I write it like this? This looks horrible. There's a much better way to see. Let's keep on. Is name is undefined question mark key. Otherwise, this dot search name. There we go. So if you don't define a name, a uh, key will pass through instead. So then the syntax is comma comma. Oh, 
I doesn't accept that. And find Okay. That's a key then. When we want to pass through a key, we go through parameter key. So now keybind, if the name is key, it will be the key. If it's not key, if the name isn't key, then it will search through for keybind. Let's put them the same here. Minus three. See, keybinds and stuff still work. Yeah. And in here. left and right arrow works sometimes. When I remove the mouse it works. If my mouse stands still, it does not work. But scrolling works. Where to do this? Scrolling still works. Yeah, because Why is it like that? <laughs> Scary part here now is scrolling through your. Because I might accidentally scroll. Oh, yeah, scrolling on these is very, very scary. Right, it can get undefined. Right, hold on. Scrolling one direction, does it minus? Scrolling the other, does it minus? Matter if I scroll up or down, the number always goes down. As you can see down there, I'm alternating between minus one and minus three, but it always goes downwards. If I scroll too quickly, ah, 
That's what happened earlier. He just scrolled too quickly. Let's see, can I fix that? How would we go about fixing that? <laughs> I don't see any good way of doing it. And, uh, but I don't. I guess we don't need to do it in a like nice looking way, considering how we've hidden it away. So, else. Mouse. So, rent that key. Depending on whether this is greater or zero or not. Let's see if the angulator is greater than zero. Then this will output minus one. Else oh, uh, one if greater than zero, minus one if lower than zero. Oh, but uh, this would actually be minus one and minus three. I didn't turn out that cluttered. Now uh, minus threes. If I scroll very fast. The extra values just disappear. I could also have done minus one or minus two, but do it for right now. Anyways, back to the other topic at on. The topping of What was my issue again? Oh no, uh, string, 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 string. Right. Here we had an um, especially big mouse area. An, an especially complex mouse area. Quite simply because 
quite simply because we wanted the most to pass through so that the um, so that the unclicked would uh, reveal the like inner tabs since we initially added like a toolbar a drop down. But now that not only do we have the mouse function in here, so it would have been possible to make it so that the Wait, there is no reason to why was this set so? So there uh, would be no reason for that. Um, so there. And here. We will take this content. Both of these. So what's the wrong place here? And then minus three. <laughs> oh, that's not no longer really works. String scroll. String scroll. And you can scroll through with the mouse wheel to the same story as before. No matter what direction I scroll. It always goes downwards for some reason. This is or right. Oh, well, now I need to look up JavaScript. Yeah, now that is or. Check. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They expect a keybind. So, in other words, Yeah, I need a key byte or an object where key is key. Yes, now scrolling works both ways. Here, scrolling in one direction does not work at all. And scrolling too fast. Yeah. Does it work on all of these? That's when it's hard to tell. Printable custom, printable custom, printable custom, printable custom. Canvas fluid. No one way. It's 
so minus one is working, minus three is not. Key binds just check and key. Hmm. Out. Uh, was, uh, did this work? Well, here too, it's only reliably really reacts to a keys if I move the mouse. So dot log old yeah, it's not triggering there. So after moving, it works once. So I guess that means keys work. But maybe in the apply, Uh, I guess it just means that the key area loses focus. Uh, let's see. We'll log uh, focus changed again then. Um, focus changed. Focus changed. Need to log it. So console dot log focus changed. I guess. Okay, focus changed. False. But it still works. But yeah, focus change turns false. After moving, or true after moving, false after something is done. Let's have a look at that apply function then.
Oh, wait, hold on. Int here. Also has another issue. Int here does not really act to right click. But how do we make it so that focus stays? Focus through on um, int. Scrolling on a works perfectly. But again, keys don't work. Works once. Revealing that could be that could be potentially be because of. Something I did to make it so that the focus goes to settings key area. Unaccepted. What happens if we get rid of that one? Okay, but what happens? If we just get rid of this whole thing. Oh, I see why this way direction is broken. My parenthesis was wrong. Now scrolling either way works. Using keyboard still does not work. See here, it's it's no issue. So it's something about how the settings are here set up. And let's just see what happens if I do this. Uh, 
Uh, scrolling no longer works, of course. But arrow keys are still broken. You know what? Personally, I, I, though I would like to find out why things are going wrong. Personally, I do think it is better with the scrolling. So let me just make it so that. Uh, just pretend that it was not intended to react to left and right. That is my solution. It isn't broken if it's not supposed to be. <laughs> if it's not supposed to be working. <laughs> Now we have click and write in your own values. You can scroll for the step up and down. You can also use the buttons on the side for that same thing. So the settings area here is now a very nice mouse friendly area. What is not nice about it is the uh, the populate. How we have to trigger populate on everything we do to make the value actually change. And whenever you do that, it will also like. It, it has to put in every single item again. Which is very, very not nice. What happened there? No clue. Did it happen again? Oh. Hmm. When pressing high the grid, you have a chance to... Ah. Doesn't have an evil screen, that's not better. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the biggest feature, it's for when you want to... Like if you're trying to use this app in incognito mode, just uh, scroll down here. Press high grid. It can take here a few attempts. It can take a lot of attempts actually. It's more likely if we do this. Okay. One in every <laughs> one in a billion times it will hide what you're doing. So you're safe. Perfect. There are no issues with this app. Other than the color size chaos. That is something I will fix. I acknowledge it as an issue and will therefore fix it. But yeah. Uh, ignoring the fact that wire moving is also on hotkeys. We've now done the two things that were on hotkeys. What was it? Uh, zooming and scrolling. Those are now, uh, now implemented. So 
So we've completed our magnation and done some extra stuff as well. Like making the logging uh, yeah, nicer. Making the disable functions actually work. A few nice things. Just quality of life, uh, life improvements. And we're at two hours, so with that there, I think we'll end the episode. That will be the end of this episode. Hope to see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.